Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski. Today I'm going to be doing some fishing in the background for Shiny Whalemer, which I've been doing for a couple, you know, hundred hours or so. But I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about are wisps in Pokemon worth doing? Which is a really complicated question. Uh, one that I've been thinking about a lot because I really, really hate doing them. So if I can justify, ooh, they're not worth it, that would be fantastic for me. But I'm going to be honest, after crunching the numbers and everything of the sort... I think my answer may not make me very happy, but we're going to go ahead and go through it. Talk about what wisps are, talk about the rewards, what you get, et cetera, et cetera. So if you don't know, wisps are a... Those like little purple flames of light scattered around the Pokemon world. They're all in static locations. You can follow great guides online to go do all of them. Um, there's some really great guides out there, and you just sort of run around to the locations within each region. There's a, there's wisps in uh, you know Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova. Wisps in all regions, and they all have different Pokemon. So wisps in Kanto have Gengar and Ghastly and Haunter. You like go from like Ghastly up to Haunter up to Gengar. All wisps have hidden ability access. All the uh, wisps um catches you have hidden ability access as well as a guaranteed one times 31 and then you go up to like two times 31s later on and then the alpha has a guaranteed two two times 31 which you can obviously get more like about three times 31 uh gengar so you have things like gengar in kanto you have uh miss magius in johto and another important thing is that these alphas are met in a fateful location which means two things Firstly, these alphas are shiny locked, which is kind of funny to me. I didn't know that until actually uh, an experienced player, Aquaze, told me. Um, I didn't realize that Fateful Encounter mons are shiny locked, except for Shaman. That's the only one that's not shiny locked, but all Fateful Encounter mons are shiny locked aside from Shaman, which is kind of interesting to me, or at least these ones are. Um, now, so that's interesting to, to note, I guess. Um, there's shiny, so you can't really get that Shalfa, I guess, but it's kind of cool still. Um, so you, you, get these, you get these limited, these are only, these alphas aren't in normal alpha swarm rotations so you can't get these in the wild you can only get these during the halloween event which is very important um so if you want to i think it's really cool to like get these and then save them and then later down the line if they're ever desired or if people want to go for like a shalfa gengar or a shalfa miss magius uh you kind of have to buy those limited pokemon that are, are pretty expensive so it can be difficult to get those now Wisps take a fair amount of time, a fair amount of bit of time, but are really frustrating is the real thing. So it took me, I did a four hour stream doing Kanto and Johto Wisps. So it took me two hours per region. I will say whenever you're making a guide on something, it easily takes double the time, if not more. So I'd, I would say the average, it should probably, if you're following a guide, you can easily do Kanto and Johto Wisps in like an hour or less would be my guide. So like, like an hour for, we'll call it an hour for each region. I think that's a good way to break down the math so let's keep that in mind each to complete each region it takes around an hour for all the wisps okay keep that in mind now once you complete all the wisps in all the regions you also get an alpha spirit tomb encounter which i believe is four times 30, 31 guaranteed i believe let's go ahead and check alpha spirit tomb if we do this and go to lowest price we'll probably see well these are two times 31 so maybe it's not maybe it's just a two times 31 catch i'm not sure um there's there's a really good yeah it, it must just be two times i assume yeah, okay. So two times thirty-one Alpha Spirit Tomb, a pretty great, a pretty cool Pokemon, pretty unique Pokemon, another fateful encounter. So you get that on top of the other four alphas, or other five alphas, excuse me, that you get, which is which is pretty neat. Um, so all of these are worth a couple hundred K a piece, but obviously it depends on the stat distribution. Like if you were to get an Alpha Spirit Tomb with like three times thirty-one like this, um, it'd be pretty it'd be worth yeah, look at this, like the cheapest one. Just for 31 HP defense, special defense, like the defensive stats, which is what Spirit Tomb wants, is this correct nature, like 900k, it's really, really expensive, right? So really good version of these Pokemon sell for a lot, which honestly could be good for breeding, wink, wink, breeding for profit right now, super underrated during events, breeding for profit is usually very good, um, but continuing on. So... Think about it like this. What what do you get from the one hour of Kanto Wisps? Let's run the calculations. Uh, let's just go to my PC and we can, we can double check. So you get some amount of Ghastlies. You get, excuse the messy PC. You get some amount of Ghastlies. You get, do, 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 let's see, one, two, three Ghastlies. So three Ghastlies with one times 31 guaranteed. I believe one of mine was two times 31. It's going to be about, these are like 8K on average for one times 31. The two times 31 is like 40K or something like that on average. So we can go ahead and run that math. So we'll do uh, 8K plus 8K, 16K for the two one times 31s, uh, plus 40K for the two times 31, just like super hard averages. You get some Haunters as well. Let's go ahead and actually make sure I have, I only get one Haunter. I feel like I got more Haunters. I don't know if I sold some of them or what happened, but okay. Only one Haunter I'm seeing. 
which I don't know if that's okay. Sure, we'll, we'll calculate at that. So one haunter, uh, two times thirty one, but it is attack in the chaos aid group. So this one should be cheaper, I will say. Uh, we're gonna do averages though. We're still gonna do plus thirty k just for the sake of it. Okay. Gengar is also two times thirty one. Mine's not very good, but we'll do average plus thirty k. We'll subtract thirty k from the other one, so I count that at forty k. Um, but it's probably it's probably more like yeah, we'll do minus ten k. It's probably more like thirty k at the moment, but these can go up and stuff as well. All right, so. 106k just from the like random stuff. I think you also might get XP candies from these. I don't I know you get XP candies from the pump cats. I'm not I'm not quite sure. So 106k in one hour just for these so far. That's not bad at all. Now, if you add the the Alpha Gengar on top, my Alpha Gengar is worth quite a bit of money because I rolled pretty good stats. Um, but let's say what's the cheapest Alpha Gengar? Let's look at Poke Yen, let's look at this, like the cheapest Poke Yen per hour, I think is the best way to factor this in. The cheapest one's around 100k, so let's 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 calculate at that. Now you could, actually, we should calculate as an, at an average, shouldn't we? We should calculate as an average. Um, I would say average is probably like 200k, depending on obviously two times, like you're, if you get two times 31 special attack and speed, it's like 130k, maybe 150k is like the average. If you get a three times 31, that's really good. Um, I would say 200k might be 150 to 200k. We'll do. I like to lowball just to be super safe. So let's do 150k as the average. Let's do 150k as the average. That puts us at 256,000 Pokéen per hour so far just from doing these wisps. Finding these wisps on your own is a huge pain in the butt. But if you follow a guide, I really do think you can do this easily in like an hour or less. So so far you're looking at 256,000 Pokéen in one hour of work. That's slightly less than a Jimmy run, but it's still really really good, especially for like a intermediate player. Like it depends on what, what level of player. I feel like a if you're like a god tier flipper, god tier breeder, like all this stuff. That's not bad. Now if you calculate the Spirit Tomb extra encounter, so if you do plan to do all of these, I mean this easily goes up by. So there's five regions. What's the average cost of the Spirit Tomb? Let's go ahead and double check. Spirit Tomb, Alpha, yep, search, lowest price, what's the average Spirit Tomb, let's go ahead and do like 31, 31 HP, 31 special defense, we'll do something like that, like 100, we'll say 150k I think is pretty fair, we'll do plus 150, or sorry, not plus 150, so we have to do 150k divided by 5, because there's 5 regions, so that's the amount of time it would take you, so it's 30k on top of the 256k, so 30k, Plus two. This is just a rough guesstimate. The numbers don't have to be perfect. It's just to get a general rough guesstimate of whether it's worth to do wisps or not. And I think if you're making two hundred eighty-six thousand Poke Yen per hour, um, roughly, roughly doing wisps, it's really good, man. Um, that's definitely super, super, super good. Now that whether that's good enough for you to do comes down to the player. If you are a good flipper, you can make more money per hour. If you're a good breeder, you can make more money per hour. If you'd rather do gym runs and just skip it, you know, more power to you. If you want to do a gym run plus all the whips, probably pretty good. If you're a collector and you care about keeping OT on all the stuff, that's the this is my other main issue with wisps. If you are a collector like myself and your thought process is, oh, I want to do Wisp just to get OT on them, it doesn't really matter. And let me explain why. I mean, it kind of does if you care about. So the only thing that matters is if you want OT plus Fateful Encounter, you do have to go catch all of them in the wild. But if you just want OT, if you don't care about the encounter thing, you can just buy Miss Magius Alphas off the GTL as long as you have... um. Miss Magius caught in your normal Pokedex, you could just buy two Alpha Miss Magius or an Alpha Miss Magius plus another breeder and just breed them together and get an OT Alpha. You can fudge Alpha OTs unlike you could with shiny OTs, which is why like OTs on Alphas aren't aren't valuable essentially like at all. Um, but shiny OTs are extremely valuable uh, because you can fudge Alpha OTs. You can just buy stuff off the GTL as long as you have it in your Pokedex. Normally, um, you can just buy the Pokemon off the GTL, breed them. It'll come out OT. Um, you cannot do that with shinies. Like shinies, you have to have caught it in the wild. Um, so that's a thing to factor in. Um, if you want to do Wisp for money at 286,000 Poke Yen per hour, it's probably worth it for like most players. For like 95% plus of players, that's probably worth it. Um, if you want to buy Wisps on the GTL to invest and like hold on to for like six to eight months and sell later, probably maybe worth it that's up to you that's a tougher call um don't take that don't you know don't run wild with that but it's it's an interest it's an interesting proposition i think i made money doing that last year but that's you know one anecdotal little example 
Other than that, yeah, financially, it's probably worth it for like 95% plus of players. Some players may not want to do it because they can make more money per hour doing flipping and stuff and breeding. Um, and then collectors. Collectors, I don't think it's worth for... I don't, I don't think it's worth for most collectors unless you want the fateful encounter thing that's it that's the 10 minute spiel to go over all of that hopefully this was at least entertaining and informative and interesting enough like the video if you enjoyed it dislike if not i want to just do a little ramble about my thoughts on wisps i hate them very much i really don't want to do them but at the end of the day they're honestly worth doing for probably most players thanks for watching subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one follow my streams on twitch monday through thursday at 12 p.m et discord's links down below for tons of helpful information during the event itself and if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo donations do go a very long way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck and have fun during the Halloween event.